Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Rolex just dropped the trailer for its Watches and Wonders releases of 2024. So I thought it'd be a lot of fun for us to just go through and make some best guesstimates of what they're gonna be releasing in 2024. So let's have a little bit of fun with it. So diving right into the trailer, we can see a lot of Everose gold meets the unexpected, a guilloché pattern dial, a GMT Master II, an Oyster Flex, a full gold watch, uh, more Everose, and more more Everose. So a lot of gold going on here. Not sure if this is going to be the full lineup, but it's a nice sneak peek. Now let's take a little bit of a closer look and slow things down a little bit. You can see here, first and foremost, this is uh, very clearly an Everose presidential bracelet. Now the fact that they teased the beginning of this clip with a presidential bracelet and they show this kind of ambiguous dial, I can't really tell what it is. To my eye, it doesn't look like a day date, which is interesting because they teased again at the beginning with the presidential bracelet. So maybe this is a sky dweller. Uh, it kind of looks like it could be, but they tease quite a few Everose gold models in this trailer with you know different bracelets and different configurations. So it really remains to be seen the direction they take with these Everose models. And they're being extra cryptic here with, you know, meets the unexpected. Here we have almost like an ice blue guilloché style dial here. And just looking at this handset and looking at kind of, you can see the three when you zoom in, this is very reminiscent of a 1908. So I think Rolex is releasing a guilloché pattern, 1908. Uh, hasn't been a very popular selling model, but we'll see what this does for the overall, you know, popularity and awareness and lineup for the uh, the 1908 model. All right, this is the model that everyone's going to be waiting for, very hotly anticipating. This is a all steel Jubilee GMT Master II, and Rolex is being very cryptic here, of course, uh, and, and not revealing the bezel color. I'm personally hoping this is gonna be a Coke. I think those colors look really clean. Could be something else. Uh, you can tell by the crown orientation that it's not gonna be anything funky like a left hand Sprite or anything like that. So I'm hoping that the rumors are true that this is gonna be a Coke. I personally love that color scheme, but who knows, maybe Rolex will uh, give us something a little bit different, something out of left field, something more unexpected. I'm excited to see what this is gonna be. Admittedly, I'm not a huge fan of Oyster Flex, but this does look like they are teasing a new Oyster Flex model. A quick Google search will show you that 350501 is the serial number for a Yachtmaster 40 or a Daytona, and it looks like it's going to be either, either steel or white gold. I know that Rolex released a titanium Yachtmaster, which is still a unicorn, but it looks like this one's going to be white gold or steel. Here we have what appears to be an all gold GMT Master II based off that polished center portion of the clasp. It could be maybe a Submariner or a Sea Dweller because you can see that there's actually a different finishing on the case back there. It almost looks like titanium or something. So I guess that would make sense to reduce the weight if it is like a dive watch. If it is indeed a GMT Master, it's probably gonna be that latest and greatest black and gray bezel. Here we have what appears to be an all gold date just of some sort. If you zoom in on the case and the end links, it looks like it's a Jubilee bracelet. And that'll be really nice, really clean outside of my uh, budget. But I think an all gold date just on a Jubilee bracelet would look really, really awesome. All right, rounding out the trailer, we have three more Everose gold. They're really playing up this Everose thing. Not sure if these three models are related, but I don't think they are. I think they start out with the uh, the diamond bezel. I think it's probably some kind of date just. And then they show the back of this watch. Here's where it gets kind of interesting. Like it could be that aforementioned potential sky dweller on a Jubilee bracelet that we showed in the beginning. Or it could just be a date just. It does have just the folding clasp. But at any rate, I'd love to see any model on a full Everose Jubilee bracelet. To my knowledge, this has not been done before. They've done two-tone, but this would be the first Jubilee in full Everose. I'm assuming this is just a day-date presidential. They have an Everose 
day date in the catalog and they te- tease that of course that presidential bracelet in the beginning so i guess it's just a new day date but then they also showed something that doesn't look like the day date dial in the beginning so could this be a sky dweller or something else on a presidential bracelet who knows i mean they did mention that whole thing about a classic icon meeting the unexpected or something along those lines so maybe rolex will throw us a curveball my main takeaways are just a lot of Everose, a lot of gold, and a new GMT Master II, which I'm really excited about. We probably won't be seeing these in boutiques or in person anytime soon, let alone have the opportunity to buy them. But who knows, maybe Rolex will keep their commitment of increasing production and we'll start seeing more of these models in boutiques and we can actually get our hands on them. I'm hopeful for the future. So hopefully you guys had a great time here with me going through some of these potential new models and making some educated guesses on what's to come. I'm super excited for the big drop on April 9th. Let me know what you are most excited about. Let me know what you think is what's to come and hope you had fun with me on this brief little video. Hope you guys have a great one and I'll catch you in the next video.